I created a little PowerPoint presentation for um, shit cunts who lost their uh, political seat on the weekend. We had a federal election on the weekend and uh, we have a new government, uh, which is much like the old government, but they put like a rainbow flag um, in front of all the fascist policies that they enact. Um, yep. But there are a few people who did this, lose their seats and um, we take what joy we can. So I thought we might just do um, a little a tiny rundown of a few of those people. Despite what I say about any of these people, the policies that they enact are by far the worst things about them. Um, mm -hmm. And these are just sort of uh, peripheral things that are, I find interesting or, you know, worthy of note. But like, you know, all of these people support the um, illegal detention of people seeking asylum, um, poverty is a policy choice, and um, so that's the most damning thing about any of them, but we'll get our mm -hmm. laughs where we can. Yep. Um, anyway, Trevor Evans, he always threatened to cross the floor um, and basically, like, you know, vote opposite to his party's position, but he never did it. Um, so a lot of people in the Australian queer community don't like Trevor Evans and therefore we didn't clap for him at Pride. And he said he had a Jeb Bush, please clap moment uh, where he's like, come on guys. Yeah. And we're all just like, ah, fuck off. Um, and yeah, as I, as I noted there, he refuses to stand up for, um, trans kids in, um, different, um, in many ways. And uh, as recently as last week, just before the election, someone posted uh, that he sent out an email um, and it was titled LGBT targeted mail, uh, obviously yeah. tailoring his messaging <laughs> oh, no. um, to his audience. And I just think that's beautiful. Um, next slide, please. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> And she has a cop son, so two things that people don't like. Um, mm -hmm. And she lost her seat recently, even though um, Labor had always held that seat. Um, and she's not likable for many reasons, but one of them is that she's staunchly pro um, locking up asylum seekers. Um, and as you can see here, she tries to walk this line of both advocating for uh, the family that I've shown on the slide here, they um, were living in a community in Australia. Um, I believe one, if not both of the girls have, were born here and then they were sent back. They're still in detention right now. Um, and uh, she used them as a prop to be like, vote for me. Meanwhile, this tweet down the bottom here is only from, I believe, the 14th of May where she believes that uh, people should pay for their own illegal incarceration. Um, so she's a cunt and I hate her very much. And I'm so glad she's gone. Look, look, the one funny part of this, uh, not to end on like a really downer note, is that Christina Keneally is this rich asshole who got like parachuted into an electorate she didn't belong to, uh, a community she didn't belong to. And Labor thought this was a good idea and they're completely surprised that she got her ass handed to her by a local candidate who was well liked in the community. Yeah, sorry, I, I misspelled Craig Kelly, uh, and then I decided I didn't care Craig enough to. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, he chased. He changed his Facebook banner uh, to Paw Patrol because he thought it would trigger the leftist, communist, gay, transhumanists. Um, we didn't care. Uh, and a bit of Craig Kelly trivia is that he is a huge anti-vaxxer, believes in ivermectin, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I had to go on the Wayback Machine for this, but he emailed a whole bunch of like people from the Therapeutic Goods Association um, and linked them a study and he, he linked them to a local file off his computer and that's, that's just my little bit of, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uniformly bad dude. His great uncle was an SS officer and convicted war criminal. Um, his grandfather was also a member of the Nazi party. He got voted out. That's all I have to say, but yeah, pretty fucking cooked. Anyway, I chose this photo because Australian Human Rights Commission and knowing that um, he comes from fascist stock, um, 
was just very funny to me. So Tim Wilson, he just got voted out. He advocated for the recognition of the Armenian genocide, which we still haven't done here. Um, and uh, But he still has shitty policies and takes the worst fucking food but f- photos of my life. I hope he um, increases uh, with that now that he doesn't have a job. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is the moment that I found out that he was an Armenian Australian. Um, and it's because he posted this photo, which is dog shit, objectively dog shit. He does look bad. He's like, he doesn't look this horrible all the time, but this <laughs> looks young. But why do you look like uh, uncle Festa heart eyes? Just like, I was crying for ages and then just like lighting. And also my deeply recessed Armenian eyes. What the fuck, dude? Wow. It just really tickles me. I don't know. It just like, I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, so Pauline Hansen, whether or not she's lost her seat, I do want to make fun of her. Uh, a yeah. very bad person, just always been horrible, helped abol- abolish the federal family court, um, which has nothing to do with the fact that her son is a family court dad, a fucking big loser. Mm-hmm. Um also, like, she's, like, fascist. Oh, no, wait, you want your internet speed to be a bit faster? <laughs> so, so, we should be clear, she sounds like shit as well. She sounds like she's about uh, to cry every time she talks. <laughs> yeah, which is funny because she's a fascist. And you can make fun of fascists however you want. Um, yep. So, um, Pauline Hanson trivia. So, Uluru is the uh as a sacred site that people uh, were climbing for many many years um it is now closed to tourists climbing it thank fuck um mm-hmm. but pauline hansen before she before it was closed she insisted that they should keep it open and she went for a climb herself then she got stuck and said it was quite dangerous and that maybe it should be closed after all <laughs> um and anyway uh pauline hansen i can't I, like like Henry Kissinger and people like that. I mean, to be fair, I she's more of like, I guess, a stochastic terrorist, I would argue, in my opinion, in Minecraft, um, rather than like, you know, actually performing war crimes. Um, but she's caused so much harm. I can't wait to drink to her death. Oh yeah, sorry, she's, uh, yeah, she's got COVID. So, so here's ah! hoping. That's, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a, my conspiracy theory is that she's vaccinated, so. Mm. I suspect that as well, because don't you have to be to, like, sit in Parliament? Like, so, I don't to, like, know. Sit, yeah. And, but, yeah, um, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, we did vote out some shit cunts, and that is good. We take what wins we can. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, thank you for putting this together, Josie. <laughs>